I've got some exciting things coming up. First of all, with our button mushroom project, I was watching I was watching a YouTuber that I like called Myco File Sage. I used to think it was Michael File Sage, like that was his name, three names, Michael File Sage, but it's actually Myco File, like Myco File, like mycology file and he was talking about using white clover seed in your poo loving um, grows. I don't have any poo loving grows going yet but our button mushroom project is going to be a poo loving grow. I've actually got some poo waiting right down there for us and uh, one of the things that you can do is you can grow alongside your mushrooms. You can grow you know actual plants. These are white clovers. The reason for using white clovers um, according to Michael File Sage that'll help create more of a miniature ecosystem which if you've you know, seen any of my previous videos, you know is already speaking my language. So it takes the already pre-existing micro ecosystem or a little tiny micro bubble as I like to call it, like a monotub over there, or like one of those tubs that I've got a bunch of plants growing in over there. And overall, it's just sort of one of those things that's like a cool symbiotic relationship. Plus it's gonna make the tub look really cool. And I love just, I love white clovers. So I'm pretty excited to try this alongside with our button mushroom project. I just got these in the mail a couple days ago and I've been, I've been, I keep forgetting to actually uh, make a little clip about, about uh, updating you on these things. The other cool thing that I want to point out is this sucker right here. This is what's called a max yield bin. It's basically one of those right over there, a monotub, but it's a professional version made by a company called Max Yield. And these are actually my magnetic filters sitting over top of the holes on there. I had sent an email to the owner of Max Yield Bins and I wanted to show them my magnetic filters. And one of the coolest uh, little exchanges happened. Not only did he give me some good advice with the magnetic filters and things like that, as far as, you know, like business and that sort of stuff goes, but he also sent me this Max Yield Bin for free and asked me if I would use it in one of my videos and even told me that he would pay me and give me a little check if I used it in one of my videos. So the coolest thing about that is, is that it's the first time that I've ever been, what do you, what do you even call that? It's the first time that I've been given, um, given something just because, you know, someone thinks I'll make a, I'll make a decent video about it or something. So I've had that sitting on the top shelf over here. I am actually planning on using that for our button mushroom project that we got going on. I planned on using it a whole lot sooner, but as I've mentioned a few times before, the button, uh, the Portabella liquid culture strain or whatever that I used is just taking absolutely forever to grow in these jars. They're just about ready at this point. I'm still just kind of watching to see if it gets even a little bit more white, but nonetheless, these have been sitting here for months and months and they're just, they're taking absolutely forever. But the good news about all of that is that if I had started sooner, I wouldn't have seen that video that gave me the, uh, the tip about using these white clover seeds and it wouldn't have sparked my curiosity again. It wouldn't have got my brain twisting and turning about all the different ways that I could, you know, take this whole new love of mycology that I had in even more directions. I'm a little hesitant on even sharing some of the, some of the other ideas that I have, but I will give you just a quick sneak peek. I'm thinking about using either this or this jar up here, and I want to do some sort of a mushroom terrarium. So I got inspired by Michael File Sage to get some white clover seeds and mix them in with my poo loving button mushrooms, which in turn turned on the faucet of the creative juices in my mind that started me thinking about other ways that I could mix plants and mushrooms together, which sent me down a rabbit hole that I'm still currently living down in researching, you know, building mushroom terrariums and that sort of thing. And it actually does turn out that mushroom terrariums are, are absolutely a thing. It's a, it's a dream of mine and it's something I'm working on. And one of these days, hopefully one of these days, we'll be working on a mushroom terrarium together. And is it just me or does this terrarium not kind of even have the, uh, the, the look and shape of the perfect uh, mushroom terrarium. And I'll say it one more time that just selfishly being asked to uh, being asked to put that in a video and being offered a, a little check to do it. It kind of it kind of gave me that, you know, you've made it Ryan type feeling. 